was gonna go here so I could activate this uh, this teleport stone. And that was the reason I went over here. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's one of those consolidated wind things. Let's head back to the what? statue of the seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Okay. Well, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. All right. Teleport stone. And music. This music's pretty nice. I wonder how long, how many hundreds of hours before I'll get tired of it. It's a statue of the seven. Oh, there's the statue of the seven. Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond. Is this a teleport stone too? The world opens itself with those with noble hearts. Okay, so that opens up more of the map to see. And, uh, uh, go on. Yeah. Worship the statue. Okay, you can see there's level one. Next level requires one, which we have. We get plus seven stamina, adventure, sorry, adventure experience, primo gems, and a Nemo sigil. So, max stamina. Yes. So the game's gonna reward you from looking around. Now there's gonna be tons and tons of guides online where to find every single one and people are gonna use them. I don't know if I'll use them. Maybe like super and late game. Can you feel the blessings of the seven? Mr. Krabs? In Mondstadt, people call them Animocula. That's pretty neat. This is really good for a free to play game. They can be fitted into the statue's eye. Ooh, look at that up there. Holy shit. There's another one. Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but Animoculi never had a physical. Oh, that's part nice. From the I don't start. remember asking. Kappa was mean. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me. Oh my god, but we like climbed so slow. Powers, you don't have a vision. But yeah. the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so. Come on, keep Isekai. Animoculi and maybe you'll receive my <laughs> blessings. Yeah, talk to me, lady. Yeah! I got it! Is there more? Ah! You know what? Damn it, I fell. I gotta check if there was more, man. I can't leave it at that. Let me just, you know. The climbing is so slow, though. Why are you so slow? Oh, look, there's, up, there's stuff up there. Oh, bird eggs. There's no way to go faster, right? Besides like jumping, but that like uses up like all of your shit. Boy eggs. Let's get to the very tip, to the top, the top, top. Okay, nothing else. Nothing else. Had to make sure. Wait, since we're up here, might as well take a good look around. I can't see. Ah! Oh! HP too low. Crawl, chowing down on some food. Restore HP. Based on this info. Hi. I lost the character. Dr. Edith. Hello. Tell me the tale of Vanessers. Who are you? I'm Dr. Edith. Um, Ella Musk. <laughs> Ella Musk. Okay. No, tell me the story. The gallant knight who liberated Mondstadt. She grew up a slave but rose up to overthrow the oppressors. Legend has it. This is where she ascended to Celestia. Let me guess. Is this like a a, a, a tease and a new character we're going to have in the future? Damn, the gods. I've only heard of her. Her story is really fantastic. It is? Wanna, if you want to understand, give this book a read. I got a book. Nice. Uh, hold on. There was another uh, tree there. Let's see. Tell me about the huge tree. Here we go. This oak tree grew in the spot where she went up. Blah, blah, blah. What's next time? Sorry. What's Celestia? Celestia is while, while the, all of them go. Celestia is where you, f where you do your fates and then they come down. Many gods. Blah, blah, blah. Silence. Blah, blah, blah. Heroes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. She gave me an item. How do I even reach that item, though? Sorry. 
Let's see. Teachings of resistance. This is not what we got, right? What is this though? Talent resistance at the backbone. Talent level up. Oh, it's just a talent level up. Where's the item she gave me? Here. Huh. Read. Ah, lore. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, lore. Hmm. Acquainted fate. What does this one do? Exchange for special items. Source. Expedition rewards. Oh, nice. She gave me lore. When does Amber come back to life? Use a revival item. So they're dead here. Let's use a specific revival item. Hold on. Hold on. Oops. So let's see. So that egg is a revival specifically? Decreases. Hold on. Revive. Ah, okay. Are you able to put these on hotkeys? Because how are you going to play multi? Oh, the load on the top right. Interesting. Found in the wild. Found in the wild. Restore story 2% and more. Revive. Decrease sprinting and stamina for 900 seconds. In co-op mode, only your character. Oh, interesting. Now that sucks. Only your character? Oh, she came back to life. Why? Was it the teleport stone? I don't get it. I don't know what happened. Huh, weird. No, but seriously, what? how am I supposed to eat those during combat? Oh, shit. Oh, these are fire creatures. Hi. Hit him with this. <laughs> Elemental reaction. Swirl. When an ammo meets other elements, it can trigger swirl. Yes, yes, yes. But of course. I knew that. Who doesn't know that? Look at this. Hmm. So it looks like my HP was only restored because I kept leveling up, I assume. Rasengan! Poof! <laughs> oh shit! These guys are strong! Get him! Rasengan! Pow! This game's tight. Exquisite chest? Yo! Cook? These are recipes? Cook? Huh? Character bonuses for cooking? Select character? Proficiency? Cook? Stop? Perfect? I got an egg? Proficiency, one of five. Okay, let's see what happens when you... Proficiency at perfect. Is this the only mini game? Hmm. Okay, here we go. Proficiency. Now what? Automatic cooking. Oh, sweet. You can auto cook. Oh, that's neat. So that's what proficiency does. Increases all the attack for percentage. Revives. Oh. Oh, cool. What's this? Sausage? Processing time, 20 minutes? Huh? 19 minutes? Do, do I have to come back here? What? How does that work? Oh my god. A minute for flour. Yeah. IRL? I'm going to be surprised if they don't have any sort of... Oh, you can skip... Uh, you know, you, you can quick skip the food. For a premium currency. What is this star on my map? Going up. 
Okay, so there's no auto heal. Oh! Oh, the star is these? Hell yeah, brother. Nice. Hmm, can I break this? No. So eggs are really important. You can heal characters. I wonder what the penalty is for dying. Usually in games, it's experience loss or something. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's going to be a money loss. Uh, worst case scenario, item drops. That'd be pretty bad, huh? Hmm. But it would raise the stakes. 14? Yo, let's get out of there. Level 14 minions? What the hell? Look, it's a ploof of whatever here. Right now? It's now. It's now. Play it now. It just got released an hour ago. Worldwide, son. Worldwide. Isn't that nice? Oh, look. There's another guy over here. Did I talk to that? No. No. To be oh, by. cooking. Can you play with others? As soon cooking? as you hit a specific rank in the game. I think like level 12 rank. Because the game wants you to get to know how to play first before jumping online. But yeah, you can. With up to four players. Tackling dungeons or jumping in other people's worlds. No, I didn't re-roll. I, I, I read about like doing that, but eh, you know. I don't want to. I, I want to enjoy the game. I don't want to have to be like, okay, let me get this good character, and then spend like a hundred hours of rolling. Nah, I'm, I'm okay. Cook, Lynn, Lynn. What should I cook next? Do it. Yeah, go for it, dude. You better do it now. Oh, <laughs> are you travelers from around here as well? You better make the character now because uh, I think they said in less than 24 hours there's gonna be server maintenance. To put the game from 1.0 to 1.1, the version. And if you make a character in version 1.0, you get a specific item that you can't get after the next update. No, so, we just to be make sure to do it now. By. I don't forgot what, what the item is. Cooking? Smells good. Um, I'll look in the I menu right now. Welcome travelers. We'll look at it together. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. Let me see what she has to say. As you can see, uh, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. When I downloaded the game, it was last night. And it was really low. The speed was like 500 kilobytes. It was so bad. It kept going from 500 kilobytes to a, uh, a megabyte. That's it took forever because a lot of people were playing. Well, we're trying to download it. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> it took forever. It took like hours and hours and hours. This is a free to play game that you can play solo. But as soon as you get more levels in the game, you can start playing online dungeons with friends and stuff. I don't know anything about PvP though. I do not know anything about that. Eat before you go. If this the is in the game. Rule yeah. in the wilderness survival it's guide. slow because so many people are downloading Picnic? it. I was able to oh, get it on my phone and PC. My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. The graphics and gameplay is really good here for a free to play game. Like I will most probably likely just go buy the battle pass right now. As soon as I hit the town, that's probably where I can do it. Oh. Like I think this is really right good. There. A really good Show game. me what you got. It's good to have someone to practice with. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Chicken mushroom skewer. Did she just point towards like something that wasn't here? All right. Oops. Chicken mushroom wow. skewers. But Berman. Fisherman, thank you for following. Cook. Nice. I did that. I did that. Is it done? Mm. Hmm. Smells good. Let me try. I'm surprised mm. this isn't on Steam. I think it'd be way mm. more popular. Mm. But it's pretty pop. It, it's like. This was this game was super uh -oh. hyped already. But if it was on Steam, well, and it would really get way more eyes on it. You are indeed gifted. Paimon told you so. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. 
have them in return for this meal. Thanks. You really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when it's there. There's you. also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter. Good Hunter? That sells food and ingredients. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon. Yeah, all right. Wow, she gave me a lot of stuff. I'm a survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. Nice to meet you. I think I would be good to put my camera all the way in the bottom left, though. I don't think it like it put. I don't think it like covers up anything. Let me do that, because it, it I can see there it covered up a little bit of what the items I just obtained. So let me go ahead and do that just a little bit. Just on the very bottom here, should be fine. All right, let's go look up the item that you're supposed to get if you may if you download the game now. I think it was inside the. Uh, let's see the notices. Where is that? It was one of these. Launch appreciation. Before. Oh, here you go. Oh, you have to download the game. Oh! Damn! 1600 Primo Gems? Where do you go? Do you do summons? I haven't got there yet. Probably the town. Look at this. You have to hit level 7 before version 1.1. And then you get 1600 Primo Gems. Yo! That's, that's neat. Primo gems, dude. What else? I, I read somewhere else before you hit the thing here. Uh, this is the acquainted fate. This is the um the glider you get if you get the game right now. Online top up center. Hmm. Uh, what's this? Top up. Top up. Traveling community. Hmm. Pre-registration rewards. I already got those. Uh, 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 hmm. I think it was in the event pages. Hmm. It was one of these. Was it this one? Hmm. Try there. This one. And who have reached rank twenty? Maintenance on the 28th to start version of 28th. Oof. We'll receive. So y you're going to get a character right now if you freaking go all the way to rank tw uh, rank 20 before tomorrow. <laughs> Why did they do that? We get the Shining Eye Idol, Barbara Hydro. Neat. Well, looks like we're going to be playing this game all day. All right, hold on. Let me equip some new items here. Did I get any new bows? I did. These are all basic bows. These are all the same bows. It's all the same exact bows. Ooh. Attack 28. Uh, let's increase your attack. And there was a set there. What would you say the gist? Well, it's a single player MMO. Let's just say that. Jobs? Well, this game doesn't really have jobs. You ever play mobile games? You know the the, the, the gatchas. You don't create a character. Yo, thanks for following Joe. Yo, you unlock them via gatchas or in the story, and that's it. You just switch out characters whenever you want. So you don't create one. You just play as them. It's pretty neat. Adventure piece. Adventure is set. Equip my amber. Hmm. How can I see all of my stuff I got? Let's see. Yeah, and it's free. So if, if this is your type of game, we can dungeon together. No joke. I would love to play with you guys. Why not, dude? What was I doing? All right. We're heading on over to the town finally. Let me switch over. So you can equip four characters at a time. They all have different stats. They all have different weapons, different skills, different HP, and different equipment. And you can switch them on the fly, right? It's pretty neat. Mm. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do to the freaking the things on the ground. What's up, duck? Wow, I can't kill him, huh? 
because this treasure chest has wood on it, you burn it. So the combat's pretty much switching out. It's like, you know, an RPG. Have characters, level them up, equip items, combo your skills. It's pretty cool. What the hell? Wind braid. And, you know, like Breath of the Wild, you have stamina, open world. And because this is an online game, it's going to just keep expanding over time as more people support the game. So it's pretty neat. Yeah, it's nice. Like I said, if you want to, if you want to, like, get really into it, you better get it now and just make sure you make an account so you can get those free rewards. Those starter rewards. Can I just beat these guys? Okay. It's Timmy! Timmy! What do you do? You scared the pigeons away. They'll be back. They do come back, but what if they leave just like daddy? Holy shit. Oh, okay. This game got a little too real. <laughs> the pigeon went to go get milk and never came back. Yikes. Uh, There's not much I can do now. Not much you can do. Mommy says that as long as you have love in the world, no animals will be scared. Otherwise, you think the pigeons aren't scared of me? Shut up, Billy. Alright, here we go. We're reaching our first town. This would be interesting if it was like um, like just a straight MMO. But it would be like it would not be as good as it is playing like this. The reason why everything is so smooth it's because uh single player, you know. <laughs> We're saying gun. Wait for the dandelion seed again. Pow, pow! Sage? Poof! What up, kid? Hey ya! What's up, kiddo? Uh, you heard of the dandelion sea? Uh, what? There's this book I read. Somewhere there's a big sea of dandelions. Oh my god. You even have little foxes, talking foxes in it. Little ones? Yeah. I want to know what talking to animals is like. I've always seen a guy in green clothes and a white socks talk to animals. Habit above into him. Okay. Uh, let's go down all of his paths. See ya. Okay, that doesn't matter. Tell me if you ever see the dandelion. See. What's up, girl? Should we tell him? Or not? We can't go on with this. There's no sea. It's a fairy tale. Uh, maybe so. Humans can never leave their fantasies. You know, they should leave their fantasies aside. Surely you haven't forgotten that snowy days in Shania when you were my boar princess and I was your wolf pup? What the fuck? Parsley. Just as we once dreamed to ascend Celestia. Indeed, even for another moment, let's allow a little sage to enjoy the fantasies of his youth. Should we tell him or not? You guys are bad parents. Ah, oh, here we go. We're finally going in. Did I break that? More dandelions. Yeah. Let me see if I can line this up to hit the other one with the Rasen gun. Rasen shuriken. No. Man, that's pretty tedious, huh? So I almost got a basic attack, right? And then their element. Pretty neat. Boom. Cider Lake. What's, what side am I on of the lake? Okay, so these are like story uh, building items. Knights of Feverus. Hey, what up? Welcome to Mondstadt. How can I help you? Tell me about the place. Is the crowd of the Nurwarf new bard arrived? Seek him out. The songs he plays are archaic. They go back a thousand years. Any a legends? You've come to the right poison. A righteous hero appears at night, but no one knows. I should stop there. Really? Uh, let's go to the other one. They keep saying random shit, so maybe um, you know, I can actually find the guy at night or something. 
Rather for natural phenomena, manipulating the weather, higher ranking, blah, blah, blah. I doubt anything changes if I switch to her, right? No. Okay. Because she's like a knight of this town. I was wondering if anything would change here. Anything the knights can do for you? Who are you? Oh, I'm Swan. The Knights of Favre's Handbook. Finding someone to chat to would be better. Seeing if they got any, you know, other stuff. Any more good to go? Battle? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. We're in! We're in the town. Oh, time to explore. I got a lot of money to spend. Oh, shit. If this game did have PvP, the combat would be crazy. Let me officially introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Thanks. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. Storm but terror? everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Sounds like something pretty impressive. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. Mommy versus games. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Your reward is us not eating uh, you. Because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast! Come with me. <laughs> we'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. Damn. I'm gonna have the high ground? Hold the bite off of the show in the quest menu. Where's the quest menu? City of Freedom. Close location. Oh, you even see the rewards. And I can navigate. Oh, nice. Oh, blacksmithing. Miladies. All right, all right, all right, all right. What's this? An adventurer's guild? Ad Astra Abyssosk. All right. Welcome to the adventurer's guild. Claim rewards? Wow. wow. What's the level? Does it stop at like 50? Oh, 60. All right. Well, because this is a uh, ever-evolving game, it's going to be up to like 100 or 200 in one day watch. All right. So we hit level two, which means we get a lot of money. And Wander's advice for leveling up a character. I'm going to wait for rolling before I level up the characters. Same thing. Ooh. Oh, 50 Primo Gems. Yo. What is that? Oh, I can't even click on it. Thanks, homie. Damn, I thought we'd be able to like do random quests there. That'd be cool. Like, go kill these things. Whoa. This used to be a bustling street. Marjorie. Storm terror attacks recently. Whoops. Usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Welcome. Every treasure here is unique. What do you mean? Shop's been undergoing renovations. Oh, renovations. Ah, are you serious? Uh, it's probably ren renovations. Except it's probably closed. Tavern near the city wall over there. Until we finish they the quest. Been affected. If anything, damn, look at all this shit. Better than ever. What's that? Is that the wish store? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Woo-hoo-hoo. Woo. This game's cool. Oof. Oh, teleport stone. Bet you can't keep up with me. Yay. Where do I go? Oh, we're gonna climb up everywhere. <laughs> I think this game would be also really nice if they can give us uh, housing for furniture and bonuses. They can make more money that way too. They can add in specific um, gadgets for like uh, housing items. How do you get up there without climbing? I want to see the front door. You could pretty much climb anything, right? I bet there's going to be some areas in dungeons like Breath of the Wild where you can't climb walls. 
Bet you can't keep up with me. God, this is a really cool game, though. What's that? You see that? There's a shiny thing up there. Hold on. Ooh. Philanimal mushroom. Oh, my God. And you could spend hours just running around and looking at things. Uh, 